so I'll tell you, if you watch the first four presentations and don't call your grandma, go get a pedicure and go work out, you weren't paying attention. <laughs> I'll take just a second. I'm a Dallas entrepreneur. I've been in Dallas for almost 15 years working in healthcare. This is really exciting to me. Doing a startup is a lonely, challenging endeavor, and to see all you uh, participants and then seeing health tech wildcatters come to light, it's a big deal because this is a scary venture to jump on a, a new technology. Uh, I'm the founder and CEO of a company called Neurotech Medical. Neurotech Medical is a neurostimulation company. What that means very simply is we use electricity to modulate or change the way the nervous system is working. So the nervous system uses electricity to communicate. We change the way it communicates to, in this case, stop chronic pain. Our first indication is migraine. So you can see the numbers of migraine ores in the United States alone. One of the big problems that we've had in treating migraines has been those patients that are refractory to current drug treatment, meaning they don't respond to over-the-counter medications or narcotics, can't be treated with electrical activity because they have long hair. It sounds like a simple problem, but applying electricity through the skin gets interrupted when you have hair in front of the skin. And since the majority of migraine ores are women, uh, having a bunch of bald women going around to sell your product wasn't our best distribution strategy. <laughs> there are approved migraine treatments, and so what we're looking to do is help those migraine ores that aren't able to achieve the right results with those pharmaceuticals. So pharmaceuticals have been approved, there's patches, there's injections. The results are that 50% of those patients don't respond to those treatments, and 70% are unsatisfied with the treatments even after they've gotten them. The biggest element are the side effects. If you have chronic migraine, you are usually a drug addict. And what that means is you're taking a substantial amount of narcotic medication, which makes it very difficult for you to attend work, and as a result is a big economic cost to our society. So what is neurostimulation? Uh, very simply, 2,000 years ago, if you were a Greek or a Roman doctor, you would take a equivalent of a torpedo fish or an eel, and you'd place it on the areas of the body that you had chronic pain. This is an age-old technology whereby the electricity activates the nerves. The nerves get confused and send a signal up to the brain. The brain is confused and says, well, I don't know what this is. It's not chronic pain. So since I don't know what it is, we're going to go numb. And the feeling of numbness is confusion. So by generating sense of numbness in the front part of your skull, we can alleviate the chronic pain from migraine. So we've made a few advancements from the torpedo fish. Um, we're in generation two of what we call our tones device. As you can see, there are a, a, a number of modifications that have been tested clinically. The primary proprietary position and the issued patent, meaning we have a patent that has issued on protecting this technology, is on the way we were doing the electrodes and the electrode gel. This is a proprietary neurophysiological set of clinical data and preclinical data that we've modeled. And so the innovation comes out of uh, uh, years of development associated with how to get electricity from the device onto the nerve through hair. So briefly about the company. The company are uh, uh, made up of a series of uh, neurostimulation professionals. So we have exited companies. We've raised substantial amounts of money. We have a 510K regulatory pathway. What that means on average is going to take us one year and less than $100,000 to get to market as it relates to clinical and regulatory costs. So this isn't a drug development that will be hundreds of millions of dollars. This is right size for angel investment. We have issued US patents. We have prototypes generation one and generation two that are finished. We have a generation three prototype that's under development using non-dilutive funding. So this wouldn't be at risk or equity funding. This would be grant funding. We've secured another grant to develop an implantable device to work in chronic pain areas where an external device wouldn't work. So all told, we have uh, about $300,000 in non-dilutive financing we've secured as part of this program. We'd expect to be able to follow on with that non-dilutive financing with an additional $3 million. And we're seeking an A round to get us through a regulatory clearance, a small clinical study, to get us ready for market launch. So very briefly, generation one was our clinical testing device. We modeled and simulated this for over two years. Generation two has just recently been built. It, there's a model out front that I can walk you through to show you how it works. Generation three is being built for the lower peripheral nerves. So this would be important for patients that have diabetic nerve pain. And generation four, we've begun studying under a grant to develop an implantable version for those patients that don't respond to external. A lot going on in this slide, but I wanted to lay out some level of granularity, the steps that it would take. 
What's important about this investment is that you are investing in the risk that the clinical trial succeeds. So I can walk you through what risk we've mitigated to that point. I can walk you through budget risk, execution risk, and regulatory risk. We think all of those have been mitigated down to the point where we're betting that this device will work to achieve a clinical endpoint, meaning we can reduce chronic pain. So we've tried to take all of the risk out of this, including execution risk, so that you're just making a bet. The bet would get us through regulatory and clinical clearance, and at that point, we'd be able to scale our generation two device into a distribution strategy while building generation three and generation four with non-dilutive funding. The team, um, so the handsome gentleman up top is myself. Um, this would be my fourth startup. Uh, I've exited or have uh, current clinical studies undergoing all of those uh, startups. The inventor, Alejandro Cuvelin, 20 years in the industry, formerly with Medtronic as a neurophysiologist by training and expert in the field. Hartman is our president. He'd be doing our international distribution strategy and international clinical studies. And then Elissa was our marketing development person who went through the Health Tech Wildcatters program with us. So with that, we expect in the next three to six months to be able to initiate a clinical study, file for a 510K regulatory clearance and close a round of funding that will allow us to get through middle of 2015 and then do a market launch. Thank you very much. We've been Neurotech Medical. Thank you.